let's talk about um, let's talk about Starship. You just had a really what appeared to be a phenomenal um, launch. H- how close is it to you know being predictable and ready to go in a commercial setting? I I, th- I think we'll recover the ship next year. Um, we've got one more launch of the um, Starlink version 2 uh, uh, stack. But there's only one, one uh, booster and ship left that's in the version 2 uh, design. Uh, and then thereafter, it's, it's version 3, which is a gigantic upgrade because that's got Raptor 3, um, and pretty much everything changes on the rocket with version 3. Um, so version 3 you know, might have some initial teething pains, because uh, it's such a radical redesign, uh, but uh, it's it's capable of over a hundred tons to orbit, fully reusable. Um, and I think it's I think I think um, unless we have some, unless we have some very major setbacks, uh, SpaceX will demonstrate uh, full reusability next year, uh, catching both the booster and the ship, um, and being able to deliver over a hundred tons to a useful orbit. Wow. What does um, the best rocket in the world do now in terms of tonnage to space? Uh, well, in terms of uh, sort of commercial rockets, there's, there's Falcon Heavy, yeah. uh, which we'll do uh, in um, w- with, with side booster reuse, uh, we'll do about 40 tons. Mm. So this is five um, times and- bigger, yeah. Uh, well, two and a half times bigger, in, yeah. but but Starship would be full reuse, full reusability. Got it. Okay. Hey, so uh, everything comes back. Yeah. Elon, after yeah. after the explosion that happened um, with the, the 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 failed launch, um, there was a lot of one. sorry. <laughs> which which oh, failed? Oh, launch? the more recent one. The more recent okay. with the Starship head. With the, the head. big boom. Here. Yeah, and the so big with, boom with on the, the base. And 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 there oh, was yeah, a lot yeah. of. There was a lot of proclamations that there's going to be environmental and FAA and all these other sorts. The yeah. recovery back to the launch pad again was incredibly fast. How did you get back so fast, not just technically and work-wise, but just like regulatory clearance-wise? Because they said there were going to be all these questions and reviews and so on. How did, how did you guys manage that? Uh, well, there were a lot of questions and reviews. We got through them all. Um, and credit to the SpaceX team, they worked incredibly hard, and they uh, got the next ship and booster tested and on the pad and, and flown. And um, yeah, huge credit to the SpaceX team. Very proud of them for doing doing such a job, a, a great job recovering. Um, I mean, it's, it's, creating a fully reusable orbital rocket is one of the hottest engineering problems ever. It's certainly, you know a candidate for most difficult engineering project ever. You know, it's on the podium at least. Um, so it's a, that, that's that been the goal of SpaceX from the beginning, from 2002. Um, and here we are 23 years later. So it's, it's a long journey. And um, with, with a, a super talent, like by far the, I think the most talented group of rocket engineers that's ever been assembled. Um, and, uh, and we're finally, next year, I think we'll be able to achieve full reusability. Elon, um, what are the big um, technical blockers that you're focused on there between now and that full reusability? Are there some showstoppers where you're just kind of literally just obsessing over trying to figure out still? Or is it more about getting through a, sort of a laundry list of your learnings and just integrating it into the next launch? Well, that the, for, for full reusability of the ship, there's still a lot of work that remains on the heat shield. So no one's ever made a fully reusable orbital heat shield. Like the shuttle heat shield uh, had to go through nine months of repair after every flight. Right. Um, so no, no one has ever made a fully reusable orbital heat shield. And is that a um, material science problem or is that an engineering problem or both? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a material science engineering problem. So it's, but we really are uh, looking at the fundamental physics here. Um, again, physics first principles. 
and try to figure out how do we make something that um, is, uh, it, you know, it can withstand the heat, is very light, doesn't transmit the heat to the, the primary, sh yeah. the primary structure. Um, and, uh, but then whose integrity is intact? The tiles stay on and they don't crack. Yeah. Um, uh, and then as you ascend, if you hit some rain, you know, the tiles don't dissolve in rain. There's, there's a lot of different issues. And, and then you really need to know that these tiles are working. You, you can't, uh, you know, go through this laborious inspection. So it really needs to be, we're, you know, these, these tens of thousands of tiles all work and don't need to be refurbished or checked one by one. That was the case with the shuttle. Can we um, maybe um, switch now? It's, I mean, who, who else were you talked about Tesla? Then you go to SpaceX. Yeah. Now, I'd, I'd like to ask you some questions about Grok and um, XAI. Um, you want to just give us an update? I think you, you kind of talked about where the next-gen model is, and you said something incredible. I still don't think people really understand it, which is, you know, there's going to be a next training run where you expect, you know, not to start from the, you know, common web and common crawl where you expected an enormous amount of synthetic data. Just tell us about how uh, the evolution of Grok is going and this innovation and why it's so important. Yeah, so we're, we're running a lot of, using a lot of, in, of inference compute and, um, and reasoning to look at all of the source data, which is really the, the corpus of human knowledge. And then uh, thinking about each piece of information and then adding, mod adding what's missing um, and correcting, correcting mistakes and removing falsehoods from, the, from that training data. So it's, it's, it's like if you take the Wikipedia as an example, but this really applies to, to books, PDFs, uh, the websites, uh, every form of information. Um, the, 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 Grok is using uh, heavy amounts of inference compute to say to look at as an example a wikipedia page and say uh, what is true partially true or false or missing uh, in this page now rewrite the page to to correct the r remove the falsehoods uh, uh, correct the half truths and add the missing context Elon, by the way, could you just publish that? Could we create like a Grokopedia? I mean, that yeah, would be Yeah, especially for valuable. our bio pages, because which are Wikipedia, a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia is so biased and it's, it's a constant war. You know, if something gets corrected five minutes later, there'll be an army of people trying to, I mean, it's become hyper-partisan and there's hyper like activists all over it. So True. if you do fix, for example, Wikipedia as a source of truth, it'd be great to publish that just so that the world has it. All right, I'll, I'll talk, talk about that. So, so talk to the team about that, like a Grokpedia or whatever. This, here's the Grokpedia version. Um, <laughs> It'd be interesting, yeah. And then just have it out there for this. <laughs> Where, in terms of, um, people here like it, uh, in terms of training Grok5, um, you're, you're scaling up your super cluster in Colossus in, in Memphis. Can, Colossus 2 now, yeah. But there Colossus we have a second one. Yeah, can yeah. You, could you give us an update on that? And then also, as part of that, um, wh where are we in the scaling laws? Um, if you scale a bigger cluster, do you get a more powerful AI model? Is there a point of diminishing returns? Or, like, how much more compute, if you throw twice as much compute at it, do you get a 10% better model? Do you get a 100% better model? Like, is it log linear? What, what, I guess, how much more juice is there left in scaling hardware, do you think? I think I think there's a natural logarithmic function associated with the amount of compute. So uh, then, like, say for argument's sake, like, 10x more compute will double the intelligence. Maybe that's that, that might be a rough rule of thumb. Uh, but you know, that still means that you know you go from 100 IQ to 200 IQ. It's still pretty pretty big deal. Um, so I. Uh, and, and I, th I think we'll see intelligence continue to scale all the way up to where, 
you know, most of the power of the sun is harnessed for compute, and then ultimately most of the power of the galaxy. You know, sort of Kardashev two, Kardashev three scale uh, compute. Um, so I guess once you think of artificial intelligence not as sort of this, you know, a destination that you reach, but really uh, as part of the overall escalation of intelligence um, that 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 we are are aware of. Um, you know, human intelligence has also scaled as you have uh, as the population has increased um, and we've been able to store more and more information, uh, human intelligence has scaled. Now human, because of population declines and low growth rate, human intelligence is, is somewhat plateauing um, and will actually decline. And I mean, my guess is that, I, I, I think that we might have AI smarter than any single human at anything as soon as next year. Wow. Um, and, 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 then, and then probably within five, like say 2030, probably AI is smarter than the sum of all humans. Do you, think, do you think humans are on the decline because the AI is evolving? Do you think there's this evolution of the ecosystem on Earth that's underway that we don't really understand the structure of what's going on, but... Maybe, yeah, maybe we implicitly know that it's coming. Um, I, I, I mean, I hope the birth rates turn around. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of uh, increased birth rate, uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> well, are you doing anything example. about it or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to set a good example. 